The video you are about to watch contains strong language, so viewer discretion is highly advised. It is also recommended that if you are watching, to use headphones for the best sound experience. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're continuing from where we left off on uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, in that last video, I completely fucked up, so... Yeah, we're probably not going to be uh, getting perfect on this, but then again, when have we ever? <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll be finishing this series off today. Can only hope anyway. But you know, wish in one hand, shit in the other. See which one gets filled up faster. All right. That's one guy down. <laughs> oh, shit the bed wide awake. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Run, bitch, run. <laughs> Sequence 12 laid to rest. Did we fail them all? Oh. At least we got one, right? Like, that fucking matters. We've already failed half the goddamn game. Oh. Huh. At least it, you know, did us a favor and put us back on the fucking land. And it didn't just completely ass-fuck us and make us swim all the way back. But we still have to uh, travel quite a distance, so... I am gonna fast travel, because fuck walking. I am not fighting you motherfuckers. Oh. My. God. I can't fucking do this. All I'm trying to fucking do is get out of here. This game is so fucked. All right, here we are. We're at that Green Dragon Tavern, right? Oh, this game makes my fucking nuts itch. Need something to Ugh. No. You know you can. Pardon? Oh! Jesus. I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous. Oh, well, we're about to start the last mission. I better fucking adjust my seat. Shit's about to get intense. Fucking adjust my nuts, adjust my ass, adjust my chair. <laughs> adjust everything, man. Adjust my life. We are just gonna fucking go for it, man. What's through here? Oh. Okay, there he is. That's right, run you little fucking bitch. Yeah, I remember this mission all too well and I'm gonna fail it too. If you get near like the powder barrels and shit, he'll uh, shoot them. Yeah, I'm gonna fail. These fucking guys, for real? Move. Oh my god, my nose itches. Mm. Fuck, I gotta pause. Ugh. God damn it. Now, I always fucked up here because the game always bugged for me. So I, I literally, I always fucking failed right here. Like the game would always bug for me. And um, I would always catch on fire. 
Like it happened every fucking time, literally. See, like that, right there. Like what just happened. See? I'm gonna fail because of that. Like the game would always fucking shit out every fucking time. See, like that right there. See, it tries to put me in directions to where I'm not supposed to go. See, like this. Here's another fucking bug right here. See, I can't do anything now. See? And how much you want to fucking bet that it has something to do with my fucking refresh rate? How much you want to get? How much you want to bet that it has something to do with my goddamn fucking refresh rate? And what makes this mission even more bullshit is that if you fuck up once, you fail the whole thing. And you have to go all the way back. That's the biggest fuck you in this whole entire thing. If you fuck up once, you're done. So far, I'm doing a little bit better than last time. But let's see if I'm correct. Let's see if I'm right. That is the fucking refresh rate. Yep. What did I tell you? It was the fucking refresh rate. Why do you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. Oh shit. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad. And this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. Oh. Oh, he's going to get back up. You shot me. <laughs> You shot me! Yeah, Brohemian, you got stabbed. <laughs> and Charles ain't dead yet. He's still fucking live. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland, a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Oh, fuck. Fail. Fail. Oh, shit. There is a god. <laughs> Oh. Is this where we fucking kill him? Yep.
Yeah, I bet that burns real fucking good with your with your uh, hole in the gut there. Take your mom's amulet back. Or not your mom's, but someone's. That guy from the beginning. Might want to get your uh your gut hole patched up there first, bud. <laughs> you fucking killed all the Templars now. Six months later. And we're back at our reservation, our village, whatever you want to call it. Dang. Probably gonna have to fucking take a fucking phone call. So you guys are probably gonna have to watch Why this. They leave this behind? For God, she sure is one ugly ass, bi ass bitch. I can't fucking English. Having like many strokes. <laughs> Who the fuck knows where that is? Is he still walking with a goddamn lamp? That would not surprise me. So what, did uh, Achilles just leave that gigantic house to to uh, Connor there? Yep. He still feels it. And he's even walking with a fucking limp. Well, I guess that's one place to put it. I never noticed those gravestones. Yeah, I never noticed them. And 
Then again, I didn't really go around the property all that much, so. It's hard to tell. I could have missed it. Putting that amulet in the, uh, the child's fucking coffin. Memory synced, sequence 12. Woo, we beat it. We beat the game, guys. <laughs> I'm getting those fucking uh, Ubisoft points. To where I can go back and unlock all that shit. Then let's go. Is that house still there? Why is his hands all fucking bloody? Guess this is it. Why is that fucking like red clay right dirt right or something? And if that's the case, you ain't digging that shit up with your fucking hands. <laughs> that shit's hard as fuck. Why the fuck are we walking? We should be running. Well, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Hit her in the shitter. <laughs> At least we got all the uh, power sources plugged in, so... That's one thing out of the fucking way. You fucked us all! You walk through there, you're gonna die. Fuck it, let's run towards our death. Yes. Come. So that evil fucking cunt Juno can kill us. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch, a spark, a spark to save the world. Wait, do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You, but how? You left, you destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save oh. it, she sought instead to conquer it. She hmm. used our machine to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. So Here's a question. Can I get through this fucking cutscene without getting a goddamn phone call? When we discovered her treachery, we put Let's find out. And then we left. But first we called to you. Probably not going to be able to. Try again. We thought it would be safe with because I'm the only one here right now. And uh, my mom, she traveled up to uh, South Carolina to, work. to uh, do some shit. I would have went too, but I wasn't needed there, so I stayed here. So I can give you guys videos. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! 
Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge. Resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory. Legacy. Oh, the world will fall back into uh, the Dark Ages. As a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future. But it's freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them. And you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you, now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Oh, God. I need to stretch. And so Desmond dies. He's dead. In some sort of global aurora borealis, never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Are being asked to remain yep. Inside. So yeah, I went ahead and uh, tabbed out so I can go ahead and uh, end this video here for you guys. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, remember, hit that like button, leave a dislike if you disliked. Leave a comment in the comment section down below because I enjoy reading your guys' feedback. And it's always nice to have a little bit of a conversation. And if you haven't already or you're brand new to my channel and my content, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because if not, everything that I upload, you're never going to see it. So... All that being said, ladies and gentlemen, until the next video series, please stay tuned and peace out.
I figured he would have uh, hung up his outfit.
1783, so he's like 27, 28 years old, something like that. He still has his whole fucking life ahead of him. And with his physique and shit, he really, like, he should recover. Well, he went to war and he won. If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seen it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but uh... <laughs> how could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parks and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Hmm. Maybe the Templars were right. America has no need for Send your them services, back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. Traded one oppressor for another. And why the fuck are we still bleeding? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, seems to be the end of the game. Um, after I traveled all that distance, trying to head to a new exclamation point, which is usually your little point markers for doing missions and stuff. I ended up getting there, it took me to Boston, and there was nothing there for me to do. So, yeah, I guess that's it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play series. And that's probably going to be Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. So, yeah, be on the lookout. See you guys later.